What's going on everyone? Steven here, back with episode 3 of my Elix Let's Hack tutorial series. In this episode I'm going to talk about infinite health. Typically whenever your values are represented in the form of bars, like you see in the upper left hand corner, those values tend to be floats. Um, not always, and in this case health is an integer. Stamina is a float. And I guess that other blue bar is mana. I haven't done anything with it yet. but um, So anyway, we're just going to worry about health right now. So what we can do is an unknown initial value scan here. Uh, we'll do a first scan. And then I'm going to go mess with this rat over here. Get him to damage us. Um, Alright, so... Let's do a changed value search. All right, unchanged. I'm, I've got hotkeys set up to do additional scans. All right, let him damage us. All right, changed value. And now a bunch of unchanged values. Okay, unchanged. All right, we're whittling results down. Let's let him damage us. And let's do decreased value, this next one. All right, so decreased value. Shift down. There we go. And then a bunch of unchanged. All right, the value is probably bigger than zero. So let's do a next scan there. Weed some of that stuff out. Um, and let's see here. Go back in the game here. Let's get hit one more time. And we'll do a changed value scan. Alright. Changed. Now a bunch of unchanged. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this fool. Alright, unchanged still. Alright, unchanged still. Alright, so now I'm going to gain health by using that potion in my hotbar there. So I'm going to hit two. Actually, before I do that, unchanged value. Okay, two. Gained health. So I'm going to do an increased value search now, or scan rather. Alright. Okay, so now we have 22 results. These bigger ones are float values, probably. That's usually what a float value looks like when you do a 4-byte value type scan. Uh, normally, I would have probably gone for 100, one of these ones that are 100, because health at max is probably 100, right? Or maybe it's this one. Uh, you could bring those down, try to change them to see what happens, see if that changes at all. Maybe it might not instantly happen. You might have to get hit by something. Uh, but in this case, I know that these aren't what we want. It's actually this one here, this 50. So if I change that to 30, all right, there's that. We see that that is our health. All right, so let's go find what writes to this address. You, you could try, since you know the health did go up and down when we changed it, you could say find out what accesses this address. We get this instruction, but if we go show disassembler, and then we right click here and say find out what addresses this instruction accesses we see it's accessing a ton of different things so you could try to go through and discern your health from all these other values but we're not going to worry about that right now we're going to find what writes to this address okay and i'm going to go get hit by this rat that's in here we'll lose health again all right Where's this other rat at? Should be down here. All right, there he is. All right, let's get hit. Come on. The AI in this game is a little bit iffy at times. Okay, there we go. So this is the instruction that writes to health, okay? Now, we could just nop this instruction, and our health won't decrease when we get hit. However, this instruction is a shared instruction. It's for player health only, but it deals with losing health and gaining health. So if we no-op this, then we're not going to lose health, but we're also not going to gain health. 
let's make it to where we gain health and we don't lose health. Okay. So to do that, we can go Tools, Auto Assemble, Template, AOB Injection. All right. And on what address do you want? Yep, this is fine. We'll say Nth Health. All right. So what we can do is uh, this is the address that our health is in. And presumably ESI has the new health value. Okay. So what we can do is do like label original code and then I'll make this uh, original code code here alright so the first thing that we can do is push F All right, push our flags to store or preserve them rather um, and we can do a compare with our health plus 20 and ESI and we can check and see is our health higher or lower than the value that's in ESI, okay? So we can say jump if less than to original code. So if our health is less than the value in ESI, we want it to go to original code because we want the value in ESI to be written to our memory address, okay? So that means that we're gonna gain health, right? Otherwise, we'll just pop F and then jump to return, which won't run this, uh, this instruction at all. So if um, our health is greater than the value in ESI, then don't do anything. If it's less than, then we do want to run this instruction to gain health. All right, and then in here we will pop F because if we push F, do the compare, and then the jump happens, we still need to restore uh, our flags register. Okay, so this should set us up. Let's go File, Assign to Current Cheat Table, close that, close that, stop and close this. We'll call this Infinite Health. Okay, uh, now let's check that and let's see what happens when we get hit and then after we get hit I'll use a potion and see if I gain health so let's see if we lose health come on dude this game man the AI <laughs> okay there we go we didn't lose health that's great now let me use a potion and see what happens all right, we gained health. All right, still not losing health. That's awesome. Take that fool out. All right, so there we go. You could have also looked for values in registers. Um, you know, you could have seen what the instruction, uh, whenever the value is written to when you lose health and the value is written to when you gain health. You could check the register states for each of those scenarios and do a compare like that. But sometimes I find it's just easier to do something like this. Okay, So that's a good infinite health script for you. Um, this in conjunction with the previous video I did, the jetpack, that pretty much lets you go anywhere and fall from any height and you don't get hurt. Um, and yeah, so in the next video, I'm going to cover infinite stamina, I think. Uh, and then after that, we're going to talk about one hit kills with enemies uh, and maybe a couple of other things. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Also check out the other videos in the series if you haven't yet. And I will just talk to you all in the next video. Take care.